I, I told us that we are here today for the purpose of a dual celebration. It's now time to bring on the man that I earlier on told you he's not in your average 82 year old. For the sake of time, I can't go into his nine page resume. But permit me to say he was Deputy Vice Chancellor UNN, former Vice Chancellor Imosi University, a man who sold author of 38 scientific works, co author of 18 articles in books, and 40 unpublished works, over author of three books, and academic by excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, please. If those hands are free, I think he deserves a standing ovation if possible. If you are not 82 years old yet, you can rise and acknowledge this man as he comes forward to speak today. Professor Dio Sindhu, as he comes today to talk to us. He goes down to the man of the street. Sir, can you help me? It's cold, I don't have where to sleep. There's some way you can tell me He moves on and doesn't look back Feels embarrassed to be there Come on! Oh, think twice There's another day for you and me Paradise Oh, think twice Oh, mama no What up, hello? It puts me at a great disadvantage, but I'm going to do my best. I prepared a 36 page lecture. I got hardly possible to give those 36 page lectures. Because, and my your permission, Your Excellency, can we cannot done? I got to end up 80, so um, I'm not an because when you were. Your Excellency, Right Honorable Chief Emeka Hedia, DCON. Your Excellency, Chief Ikedio, I came. My Lord, Your Grace, the Archbishop of Oweri, Mr. Chairman, of this occasion, Chief Dr. Nayamondo, the Chairman of the Orient Group of Companies, Dr. Tony Ezen, OFR. Please and permit me to stand on existing protocol. The main theme of the lecture series is what matters most must not be at the mercy of what matters least. The sub theme which I'm going to uh, talk about is pressing up for radical change in a fast-moving world of science and technology. Yeah, I was in secondary school 65 years ago. Therefore, um, as I am on a secondary school now, I expect I can have in the next 70 to 80 years. Therefore, how we prepare them for the future is very important. I made a mistake. Then you give me a child. Then I got her. I will hear her to the table. And make a principal since Dominic Secondary School. In Tweke, I started a lecture series and I got in Torobi Data for four years. Had those lectures. And Saturn is in there of orange, orange uh, um, drugs. 
as sponsor those lectures. I've been there for four years. Kita Eisenhower. I get a American, my name is also Mahokona Abia. I said that I get a American, young, young people who are fighting through life. I am a young person, 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 I am a young person. I would like to start today's lecture with a first high view of history of mankind. The Bible tells us about the creation of the universe. And the Bible story assigned to man a special place in nature and makes us believe that the Creator set up a hierarchy in creation and left man at the top. Among the human race, the Jews were said to be the special chosen people of God. Of course, the black man and all his descendants, all the descendants of Ismael, are left at the bottom. For some reason, for some people, this explains why the black race is in, at the bottom of the ladder. The, 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 the third world. Two stories of creation from different Middle East sources count. In the chronologically first but historically more recent account, known as the priestly, God created the cosmos using his divine word, speaking light, water, and land into existence, and followed that with plants and heavenly bodies. Then he created birds and animals and fish, and ended up with man, male and female, formed in his image. We are now in a scientific age, and science has its own story to tell. Science says that about 13.5 billion years ago, matter, energy, time and space came into being through what is called the Big Bang. That Big Bang could be the word of the, the word of God. According to the Big Bang theory, the story of these fundamental features of our universe is called physics. According to the Big Bang theory, about after about 3 billion years of the appearance, matter and energy started to coalesce into complex structures called atoms, which combine to form molecules. The study of atoms, molecules, and the interactions is called chemistry. The study of atoms and molecules, and after about 3.8 years, 3.8 billion years ago, on planet Earth, Certain molecules began to combine to form structures that are called organisms. The study of these organisms is called biology. After about 70,000 years, organisms belonging to the species Homo sapiens started even more elaborate structures called cultures. The study of and subsequent development of human cultures is called history. I want to give this background to the, to the, the children. All stories of creation given by science were derived by studies based on radioactive dating. Science explained that the state, current state and stage of development of animals, plants, and man are as a result of years of evolution that involved hybridization, mutation, natural selection, based on the principle of survival of the fittest. Man and all biological creatures have continued to evolve. Scientific truths were made explicit a mere 500 years ago with the work of Francis Bacon, as Paris and as it did. I'm not going to go into all this, but the point I want to make is that science, for many years, for many years, human beings have thought to understand the universe. Man has put a great deal of effort to understand nature and to discover the rules and laws that govern nature. Modern science differs from traditional ways of learning in three, three, three significant ways. One, the willingness to admit ignorance. The centrality of observations and mathematics. 
and the acquisition of new powers that help them to create technologies. More based on collecting empirical data observations, those that can be observed with at least one of our five senses and put it to putting them together using mathematical tools. For example, in this gathering, if we want to make a statement about the development of girls in our community, we bring out uh, 200 girls, measure some growth parameters like height, breast uh, size, and weight. Using these parameters, we can make a statement about the development of our girls and be able to compare it with that of other um, areas. One of the reasons why most of our people are poor and miserable is the wrong belief that through prayer alone, without hard work, God will wave his magic wand and money will shower on us. It doesn't work that way. If all of us can listen to the voice of God and do what he wants us to do for humanity, our lives will be better. Our prayers should be long, baptize me with fresh ideas on how to solve problems that afflict our community and connect me with the right partners to make it happen. God will definitely connect you to the right people to make your prayers happen. It is time to change our thinking and prayer pattern. We must look, stop we must stop looking for shortcuts to the top. Wealthy people don't necessarily look for money per se. They create solutions to vexing problems and money follows them. The discovery of new ways of doing things or even a slight alteration in the routine of doing things can make you wealthy. Our young people must be made to have the right attitude to life and not believe in miracles that will happen by just wishing or praying. A great chance for ascendancy of our people lies in the effective manipulation of the powers inherent in science and technology through the application of the tools of mathematics and computer science. Every effort must be made by the leadership of Ndibo, Ndidato, and the under constraint, other constraint groups in Nigeria to eradicate the fear and dislike of maths and physics among our school children. We must be prepared to explore diligently ways of making mathematics and computer science palatable and appealing to our children. The objective of promoting the love for maths and other science-related subjects prompted the Orange Foundation to organize a statewide quiz among high school students in faith-based high schools in Imo State in 2012. The best student, which who came from Kizito College, Lomuchima, went home with one million naira for his university education. And I could back ever. The second person went home with 500,000, and the third person 250, and there were other uh, consultation, con consolation prizes. We must invest money and effort to, in in to in immerse a significant proportion of our population in the application of science and technology in solving the problems that have been developed in society. The indigenous computer manufacturer, like Xenox Computer Company, must continue to play a leading role in promoting computer literacy among our people. Worldwide, students are now forced to study maths, especially statistics. Most people have problems digesting math, modern science because of the mathematical language. We have a huge task of making science subjects, especially mathematics, computer science, and physics appealing to our children in school, both primary and secondary. Avoiding maths and the science subjects will exclude our children in future 
from being innovators because they will lack the necessary knowledge and experience to draw from to innovate. The lecture, this lecture is aimed at stimulating the minds of teachers in school, in our schools, to find new ways of making the study of maths attractive, at least not objectionable, to students. These students in school now will grow up and marry and pursue their careers in the fast evolving scientific age. Maths is a language of science and without maths and mastering that language, our children will be lost in the world of tomorrow. Our leaders, political, commercial, religious and traditional, should provide an enabling environment to help our teachers in the effort to equip our children with the knowledge, skill in maths and sciences so that our children will become co-contributors to, to the new world of science and technology. We must counsel and mentor our students to show interest in science subjects, which is likely to be useful to them to get into professions that are going to be the major growth points in the global, regional, and national economy. I cannot overemphasize the fact that youths 17 to 50 years old hold a key to the future of Idato and our nation in this half century. All this will be a pipe dream if our children do not have computer hardware in their schools and enough numbers to give the children, give every child a chance to learn adequately. Moreover, children need competent teachers to teach them. Many schools that have computers don't have competent teachers to make, good of, make use of them. Parents should over and above what schools give to the children endeavor to send their children to private computer and math tutorial classes to, up, to acquire sufficient proficiency before our children graduate from high school. Sadly, the federal government is investing less and less on education. Many people are now sending their children to Ghana, Europe, and North America to be properly educated. Those who cannot afford overseas education for their children must be prepared to spend money on private tutorials or run the risk of not giving their children sound education. Most importantly, electricity must be provided in the computer lab for students to use computers. We have not had electricity in the data for the last nine years. Some, some computers provided by Orange Foundation to some schools are lying idle as a result, while some have been stolen. Gladly, Imo State Government is placing a lot of emphasis on human capital development that will equip our youth and women in, the, in knowledge, skills, and computer operations. Hundreds of computer teachers are to be trained in Microsoft Office and basic internet skills. A large number of Imo user are programmed to be trained in information technology by our, our local computer manufacturer, Salio Stan Over 250 women will be trained this year on computer coding and web development. Our principals of schools in Hidato, North and South should position our computer teachers and youth and women to benefit maximally from what Imo State government is providing. I will place the greatest emphasis on what the future has in store for our children, stressing the need to educate them well. We are marching headlong towards a global culture. For our children to survive, we must equip them with the tools of life that will be needed in the world's global village of 50 years to come. To draw attention to the world in which our children will live in the next 60 to 100 years. We cannot afford to ignore where the flow of life is going in future. If we do so, we'll be putting our children at a great disadvantage. I cannot overemphasize the need to prepare our children for the challenges of life in the next 50 to 100 years, when in fact, most of the children here will be alive. While people shudder about the potentials of bioengineering, nanoscience, computer science, science has opened several other new technologies, 
including areas like cyborg engineering. Cyborgs are beings that combine organic and inorganic parts, such as human with bio, bio, bionic hands and legs. Cyborgs have inorganic features that are inseparable from their bodies, features that mo modify their capabilities, their desires, and their personalities. American Defense Ad Advanced Research Project is now developing cyborg insects with implants or microchips on their body so that the, 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 the insect on their wall will be transmitting videos to people outside. The reason I'm talking about this, this is the world in which our children will live. And the only way they can live and be able to be relevant is if they have a good handle on science and technology, science and computer science, I mean, mathematics and computer science. Now, I think I'm going to have to uh, preach what I said, but the point I want to make before I, I, I go, because they have telling me that it is time, I have this uh, lecture prepared. You take it home, you read it. Now, uh, after this, this uh, event, we are going to go through and uh, edit and uh, make whatever corrections, adjustments we want in the speech of the first uh, lecturer and my own. And then thereafter, publish it the way a Yajok lecture publishes it so, so that uh, administrators, policy makers, and look at some of these documents and be able to do something. I thank you for your attention. Well, you can see from what happened here today, you can see how his people feel about him and what he's doing. And not just that he's an icon, he's somebody who emulates the system by the youth to be able to build a better future. But we're talking about education and knowledge society. And the only way to move forward is that in smaller ones, Take him as their own role model. Thank you.